What is up fam? Welcome to another haunted adventure. My name is Omar. Today I have a very, very unique experience. A place where you can come visit during the Halloween season. This is not just a haunted house. It is in fact a haunted place with haunted history. A lot of workers have witnessed a lot of different things here. I'm going to explain here in a second. Make sure to smash the like button if you like clowns and some scary shit. Unfortunately, we're not gonna have anybody coming to scare us tonight unless it happens to be a ghost. Hope you're ready for this adventure. Let's do this. So we are at the entrance of Screamageddon, not far from Tampa, Florida. And what's crazy about this place is that people have witnessed real hauntings here like no clickbait. Come to find out there was something that happened in our American history here. In 1956, a massacre happened here known as the Bradley Massacre. You can check this place out for yourself. This is called Screamageddon. This is one of the scariest places come Halloween. You could actually have people touch you here. You wear these, I wanna say they're like neon necklaces. I'm gonna be doing a behind the scenes video to what this place looks like on a normal night. Now tonight's not a normal night place is closed we have the entire place to ourselves just my friend Carlos and I and we're gonna be doing some ghost hunting here there have been a few people that have done some ghost hunting here but yeah even workers have seen shadow figures there's demons that have been seen here a winged creature I'm gonna explain all those stories here in a second there's a worker that's gonna be meeting us up here in a little bit to share some of her experiences here at Screamageddon need some extra light <laughs> So you can't videotape in here, but we're allowed to. Oh, shit. Hey, look, Ma. It's a spoiler. Carlos, scariest thing you're going to see tonight. The scariest thing I'm going to see tonight? Yep. What? It's right here. Ooh, that's a big whip, bro. And a big spoiler. Look at that. Crab. Looks like a crab. It does look like a crab. Dang. It looks that's, like Charlotte's Web, bro. That's huge, bro. That's what she said. Before we start exploring, I want to kind of fill you in on some of the history here. And I am going to share a little bit here and there as we, we walk through the amusement park. So the Bradley Massacre, you know, it's part of our American history, sad to say. There was an American family that settled on this land. Two of their children were outside playing and Native Americans, also known as the Seminoles, the Seminoles were in this area. And there had been some war going on. They did call it the Seminole War, but there was a war going on, I guess. The Native Americans retaliated and they killed the children of Major Bradley. That, that was his name. And he's buried in Brooksville, which is my neck of the woods. There was a young girl playing outside. And I thought at first it was when they said shot, I thought it was maybe with, you know, bow and arrow. Like that's what we usually think when we, we think of like the natives, but no, it was with, it was like maybe like a musket. It was a projectile that, that shot the little girl. The little boy was struck also. He was about 15 years old. He went back in the house to go get a shotgun and when he came out, I guess he was struck again and he died. The mother came out, she had passed away, I guess trying to save her children. Major Bradley, I guess he was really sick. I mean, so sick that he died a couple years later. I mean, I'm sure having a broken heart didn't help his health, but he had some breathing problems. But yeah, that's in a nutshell, the Bradley massacre, what happened here on this land, making it one of the most haunted places in central Florida. So I did a little bit of research and I was wondering, you know, why did the Seminole natives retaliate? And what, what was their reason for getting revenge on Major Bradley? Come to find out in 1836, Major Bradley had killed one of the chiefs brothers so they decided to get revenge on his family some 20 years later there's also some conspiracy theories as to like a white man like they say in, in some of the history being a part of this you know and, and leading the native americans maybe uh, getting them to get revenge you know that's what had happened here now let's talk about what's happening here today some of the workers they see dark figures and one of the workers is going to be meeting us up a little bit later and i've heard this from two other workers there is a sheriff that has been seen on this trail 
and the girl that we're going to be meeting up with, she said that it looked like a cowboy, and he went to go like draw his guns, and and she was, you know, she it was during Halloween time, so she kind of like played along. She was like, oh, like you know, are you going to get me? And then he like just kind of disappeared into a shadow. And there was another worker that had seen something very, very similar to that. There is a winged creature that has been seen in the demon church, also outside of it. We're going to go there in a second. They say that people that have come here, they they have conjured up some things there. I mean, it is called the demon church, so maybe demons like that, maybe something has, has come there and taken over. There's a lot of activity here. I want you to keep your eyes and ears open. I know this is like a, a scare attraction, but we're looking for completely different types of scares tonight. I hope I didn't bore you with my his- oh, Where's the spider? Oh, the spider's over there. Okay, hope I didn't bore you with my history lesson. I just wanted to kind of let you know that we're in a real haunted location. This isn't just something that I, that I just made up and like, you know, hey, I'm here and it's haunted, you know, I mean, it's a haunted attraction, yeah, but this is a real haunted spot. Like everything that I told you, that Bradley massacre happened on this land right here. Oh, there it is right there. That's the demon church. They saw the apparition flying above it. Yeah, and more, a lot of people have seen it. Yeah, a lot of people have seen it. It's like a winged creature. Yo, it looks so creepy out here. Yeah, it is. So we're going to be coming out here this weekend and doing, you know, like actually all the scare stuff. I don't even know what to say. What the f is that? Okay, never mind. Remember that story that they told us about the porta potties? Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't even tell them about the porta potties. Oh, Anyways. all right. Okay. So there's some porta potties over here. I want to say there's a tree in front of the porta potties. There's two sets of porta potties. These are. Uh, oh, dude, I just got bit by a mosquito on my ass. <laughs> no lie. I want to say this happened last year. There was a news reporter going live, and I think this got caught on TV, like on the news live. He's going live and talking about the place, and one of those doors swung open, and you could hear it on, on live. On live, yeah. And you can hear him like do it. He was just like, and yeah, they still don't know to this day. It wasn't windy at all. It's very similar tonight. It's not. Yeah, there's it's not no wind tonight. No right now. Yeah. You know, and yeah, one of those doors on the porta potty just swung open violently and there was nobody in it so and a lot they, of weird stuff happens like that they here you hear them in the end of the video when he clipped it you could hear them giggling like she heard one of them the, the <sighs> female that was there clicking like, i didn't hear that part yeah she said she was you could hear it in the video like did you see that whoa yeah so you might want to find that clip yeah that'd be really cool yo these are shipping containers yeah, shipping containers yeah. look at that they made them into like little mm -hmm. pavilions Cut them open. That's so cool. Sand to the edges. And then cut some stuff. Have you seen how people can make houses yeah. with those? Okay, so it's not Demon's Church. It's called Demon's Revenge. Oh, dude, did you hear what they said? Like back the other way, too, that the KKK used to dump bodies in yeah. the lake? Yeah, I told, I told That was on this property, too. Yeah, it was on this property. Yeah, I told them about it already. That's insane. That's one of the part of the histories I talked about that. You, we, it could be an undisclosed number of people back there. We don't know. Yeah. So the previous owner to this place that sold it to the new owner made a deal with the KKK, and they were telling them about it, where they can use their lake here on the property to dump bodies. Now, it's undisclosed how many bodies have been dumped on that lake. I wanted to go back there, but they said it's filled with alligators and snakes and things like that and it's not safe so i don't know maybe at a future date they'll make it a little bit safer because i think that'd be a great place to try to find some spirit activity bro wow crazy. this is where they seen that creature yeah they said it was flying over this church and it was more than one person that seen yeah, it more than one person Actually, two workers had actually stepped away and actually left early. Really? Because they saw it. They got freaked out. So we were told that they brought in a priest here that performs exorcisms to sage demons' revenge because the um, amount of spirit activity happening here was unreal to the point where there was workers having to go home early. That happened right here. And this is where they saw that creature flying over them. I'm going to try to do a spirit box communication here in front of Demon's Revenge where that creature has been spotted. Are there any spirits here that want to communicate with us? Yes, sir. What's your name? 
What's that? People. Do you like it? Dude, that said. That said demon. They're real demons here. What's your name, demon? What's your name, demon? Why? Because I want to know. Zen? It's not like Ted. Ted? You know demons won't share their name because you have control over them. If you know their name. Really? Yeah. What was the winged creature that was seen here? Me? My screen just got like really foggy right now, like kind of blurred. It left? Where is it now? Did somebody conjure up a demon here? Hell. Bro, I said hell. You get me worried? What's here? Seems like there's so much. It's so quiet here, dude. It's super quiet. One thing I forgot to share, too, is they have spotted little children shadow figures and i mean just so much activity here so that's many right. things that's right they did say yeah, that some children you guys have to see how creepy it is inside of that church right there maybe they'll let me in it you know when scream again opens which will be here shortly i'll do a behind the scenes video so you can see what this place is like they say that it's very active too when there's people here or after people like it's almost like when people come here it makes whatever spirits here wake up. Yeah, they said it gets more active after. Right. Like say that night after they close everything down, it seems like this place gets even more active. Right. So maybe even after they close, if we can come back and check it out. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see something like that. It sure is spooky at night. Carlos keeps saying that he feels like something's watching us and I feel the same way, like, like from the trees or something. Hey, you want to go where they've seen that cowboy? A cowboy like that disappears into the night. Just to give you an idea, we're right there at the entrance. That demon's revenge is there. Oh, they have something that's really cool here too where you can get on this school bus and go paintballing against zombies. So I just got a text from the worker and she's going to be here in a little bit to share some stuff with us. I think he went to go potty. I have no idea where he went. Well, if he went to go potty, he's either. Oh! What the hell? So Carlos was peeing on a tree around the corner. Hey, so right over here to the right, I heard like a, it's like a loud bang. And it's in the area where the girl spotted that ghost of like the sheriff. Yeah. Well, they say the, the lake is that way down here. We're not really supposed to go down there. It was kind of dangerous, but that's also where they do their zombie, like, paintballing, I think. It's on these buses right here, too. Oh, check it out, dude. Dang, this is cool. Getting some Jeepers Creepers vibes, so. But, yeah, this is what 
you can shoot at the zombies. They love you for what's on the inside. Always give 100% unless it's your brains. <laughs> this is cool. Okay, so just a second ago, Carlos and I were like we were getting ready to go on here and he was changing his battery out and we heard a knock. So one of the girls saw that cowboy apparition down this path and then one saw the girl that we're meeting in a little bit saw him standing right there and he went to go draw his gun. Oh, Yo, I'm hearing noises all around me right now. Carlos is in there. It wasn't him. Was it? Oh. All right, fam. So we got Amber and Louie. They have some great stories for us including there's an airplane flying above us right now making some noise so no lie though we were getting ready to go on the bus and we heard like something and we, and we even heard it again like coming from inside there it sounded like a knock so you've heard stuff like that too oh, yeah. all right it's a shame that i couldn't catch it on camera <laughs> maybe we'll catch it again louie brought this really awesome box here and we're gonna connect my spirit box to it to try and get the attention of whatever you saw what was it that you saw can you kind of explain yeah it was kind of like a cowboy i guess it was like just like a silhouette you could tell from the brim of the hat um thought it was one of the managers because he dresses with his cowboy hat when this was the hayride and so i started walking up to him asked about the night and this thing kind of like squares up like it was like in draw pose and the next thing i know it just starts running at me and it disappeared when it hit the uh, beams of light over here behind, you know, the, the, building. the building. Yeah. And you saw something pretty similar. Yeah. So right. It was like the same figure, but it had someone else with it. I thought there were actors running towards me to like get the blinks that we used for the guns for the hayride. And whenever they were running at me, so I was like, oh, they must really need it. So I'm trying to get to them as fast as I can. And when the lights from our tractor that would pull the hayride hit them, it kind of dissipated, and. I ducked down because I didn't want to get hit by the tractor, but I just took off running. I was scared. <laughs> oh, wow. Did that happen on the same night that you seen, or is it a completely different it night? It happened like three years ago. Yeah, this was five years ago when mine happened. So two different times. Yeah. Oh, wow. But it was probably the same entity. Most likely, probably. yeah. Has anybody else seen something similar to that? Um, I did. think so, yeah. yeah. We have a few friends who work screaming and who work hayride have had the same experiences. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Do you think that's something that was connected to the lake where the bodies have been dumped? I think it could actually be something to do with the Bradley Massacre. Okay. Given the ensemble that they're wearing and then, you know, just that whole part. It fits yeah. the time period. It really does. Well, let's ask. What do you think? I think let's so. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> so right behind me, about right there, is where Louis saw the figure. So we figured this would be a great place to do a spirit box session. And it just ran that way? Did it go towards you? Yeah, it was coming right at me. Damn. <laughs> Can we put your spirit box like, bro, what was that? Shine your light down there? This tree line is very active. Yeah, All this is where we keep hearing there. a lot of noises. Bro, that door just opened. Wait, was that door open? It wasn't open like that. And that's a really heavy door. Whoa! Whoa! There's a door over here that opened on its own. That wasn't like that. I have it on camera that you were standing next to it that wasn't open. Wait. Feel how heavy that door is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. It is really heavy. Maybe this is the sound that I heard earlier. Because I heard something. You're putting your whole body weight into that, right? Yeah. That's a heavy door.
I can't wait to use that big old Bluetooth speaker. We're gonna turn this, I've never done a spirit box communication like this. If you guys wanna use this app, there's a link down below in the description. I used another completely, there's two apps that I was using. Uh, one of them is, uh, is my favorite, but there's another one that's pretty cool too. Uh, so if you wanna check them out, links are down below. Are the Bradleys here with us? Hello? Did that say Bradley? Me. I sound like a little girl. Like a little girl. Are you the little girl that was murdered here? Together. It said together. You were murdered with your brother, weren't you? So what was seen here? What did Amber and Louis see right here? Can you show yourself again? Can you show yourself? Use your energy and show yourself again. Are you evil? It sounds like a yes. Help me? Did you say help me? Help again. Are we helping the Bradleys? Or are we helping the cowboy that was seen here? We want to see you again. You can come see us again. We won't run away from you. I want you to have a voice. Get us out? Did somebody conjure you from somewhere else? Escape. Did you escape from hell? I think whatever's coming through is saying some bad words. <laughs> Kind of looks, sounds like it, right? Are you upset? <laughs> what is that? It's a dick. <laughs> I thought it said dude. Yeah. But maybe it was dick. The <laughs> same bad words at you, bro. Are you a demon from hell? Yeah. <gasps> Whoa. Chicken. Did it just say yeah? Yeah, it just said yeah. It did. What was it that Louis saw in this same exact spot? Please let us know. Kind of sound like cowboy when I said when you said that. Sound like cowboy? Yeah. I couldn't hear it. You said this is wild? Yo, that's crazy. So Amber said this is wild. And then this just said this is wild. Get her? Are you scared? No. Okay. Louis just was just telling me and Carlos right now that because I asked, has anybody complained about, you know, possession here or being possessed? And two people, I guess got possessed here seems like there's something evil here but there's other spirits that aren't evil you did that <laughs> what happened like it just got heavy it, like i'm sitting here like thinking about my chest feeling yeah. and then he goes <sighs> i personally think those people came with attachments already because that whatever darkness I experienced 
near around them and during that time frame mm -hmm. wasn't here previous to that. They were negative people to begin with. They mm. got really weird too as time passed. <gasps> Dude, what the f*** was that? Bro, you heard that, right? Yeah. It sounded like one of those garbage cans moved or something. I swear, I thought I, thought I just saw the black shadow back there. That wasn't no animal. We all heard that, right? You guys heard that? Yeah? It sounded like a loud thump. I thought it was the garbage cans. I could be wrong. Are you out there? You can use your energy again. I just heard you. Don't be shy. I want to see you again. The cowboy. Come run towards us again. Louie and Amber want to see you. Right? Yep. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no. <laughs> I don't want to see that guy again. Were you guys terrified? Like, seeing that? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to come back to work. Seriously, it took a lot of willpower to be like, ah. I used to hang out after I was done for my night, and after that I kind of was like, nah, I don't think I want to hang out anymore. Yeah. I never see Louie after the shows anymore. Mm -mm. Always gone. Yeah, it just, it gets really intense. Do you feel that way now, tonight, being here? It's different because I've made peace with it. I feel, this is like a second home to me, so it's very comforting. And I'm very respectful with the things that are out here. But I also feel like there's a lot of passive kind of spirits um, and of the like they come and go that kind of wreak the havoc in our tricksters yeah. and it, yeah, that can be a little bit unsettling especially if you run into it when you're not expecting it but otherwise everything else kind of as long as you have the respect for their space you kind of respect your space that's kind of how I feel yeah where do you feel that massacre happened? Has that has that been confirmed? Like where on the property um, there's that been happened? Rumors of it being um, on Treehopper's property. Okay. So there's a main central hub of where all the courses start. They say the building was behind the platform. Okay. But it's not been confirmed though. Like where they their house was. Yeah. Okay. How many acres of land is Screamageddon on? Yeah, sixty acres. Sixty acres. So okay. We own about one hundred and twenty acres. Oh, cool. So you got room to expand. Yeah. Sweet. That was kind of funny. I said it really loud. You. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh, oh I didn't hear that. Oh, yeah. It was like right at the beginning when we turned it on. It was really loud. And yeah. <laughs> so I, I've never heard my spirit box say some... Bad words. Me either. Like really? I mean, I've heard a couple bad words come out, but, but never the F you. And Louie said that that's what it's she heard. And Amber heard it too. It's so I've never actually heard her say any cuss words. No. I've heard, heard some. Words. I've always heard. I've know, heard like, you know, come through, but not, nothing like horrible. I've heard the different language, Spanish and stuff like that, come through. Yeah, I've heard that. So as we're walking away, we got the um, the box off. That boom box is off. Yes, it's off. And Amber started hearing what sounded like a conversation. I don't know if. I, I mean, I didn't. Hear. Shut up, cricket. <laughs> Stop it. Just sound like a generator back that way. So there's no more generators back in that. All generators have been taken off property. Yeah. You might hear my AC that's over that way. Probably. Oh, you live out here? <laughs> no, I'm the makeup manager. <laughs> oh, okay. So I have, a, I have a, you know, my own trailer. That Wait, I do you like do the zombies makeups and I stuff? Do. Oh, yeah. can you make me a zombie one day? Yes, actually. <laughs> She's awesome at it. That'd I would love awesome, to be a zombie. Bro. So it's different out here. So like I can do some killer stuff, but we get huh. five minutes a look. So there's five minutes to do yeah. makeup. <laughs> so there's six of us and we have like 160 actors and it's go time. Wow. Yeah. I give you a lot of props. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. So I'm sure you could bang something out really nice if you took your time too. Yeah, I actually got... 
best of the bay last year for my Ooh, zombie makeup. What? Yeah, so that was really cool. That's mm. awesome. Yeah, I made his dream come true. He's like, I've always wanted to be a zombie, so <laughs> that was really awesome. <laughs> Dang. Hey, just think about it. doing a prank and getting dressed up as a zombie and going to public areas. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of look like a zombie right now. Hey. Well, I've been up since 6 o'clock this morning, so yeah. Hey, Louie, do you have an Instagram? Like, what's any, some of your makeup? Yeah, I do, actually. Ah, so share it. Share it. So it's uh, LCFX, so E-H-L-S-E-A-F-X. All right. Awesome. Y'all check her out, okay? Yeah. And check out Amber, too. You got one, Amber? <laughs> uh, it's not my Scream Again anymore. Okay. I'm just the HR manager here at Scream Again. Oh, oh you are? You okay. Are. okay. Okay. Assistant. Oh, she's she's she's, she's up there. She's up there. She could kick us off the property. <laughs> and she'd be hearing ghosts out here too. I don't do makeup though. Sorry. I just noticed something really cool. So these school buses have real bullet holes through them. It's like somebody came out here with their personal gun collection. Wow. So you guys thought school buses were safe? It looks like bullets go right through them. Oh look, this, okay, whatever round that is, is stuck right there. There's a round in it? Yeah, you could see like, I mean, I could be wrong. It looks like it. Man, what the heck is that? That is a big old bullet. Gotta be some slugs. It almost looked like Bombshell Betty, like the way she walks. Oh, that's creepy. That was really creepy. Wait, you just seen it right now? Yeah, like, okay, to the left of that white sign. Uh-huh. Um, kind of in between these two posts there. It looked like she was like, wow, that was weird. That's where she comes out every night, too. Wait, other people have reported seeing that? No, that's one of our characters. It literally looked, just looked like one of our actors walked out. I had to take a double check to see if anybody was over there. Let's go. Has any of the actors passed on? Like, if there was an actor that passed on, like, maybe they come here to visit? Possibly. Wow. But you said you saw a woman, right? It's hard to say. It, like, it looked like a white dress. I don't know, like, a distressed white. It wasn't, like, a pure white. Are you there? Shine your light to the right a little. Uh-huh. Right about there. Right here? Yeah. Like, right there? Is there somebody here with us? All right, so Louie and Amber took off. Big shout out to them for coming and sharing their stories with us. What did Louie see? Come show yourself again. I've never seen it over 50. It's a 106, 105. Oh, wow. Every time I use it, I've always seen it lower than 50. What exactly is that? EMF meter. Okay. Electromagnetic frequency. Wow, it's at almost 120. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Look, watch, watch, watch. Come here. Look. It's going to 100 around here. Now watch this. One twenty three? This is exactly where she's seen it too. Yeah, look, 126, 128, 130. Show yourself. Very active right here. Maybe it's right in front of us, but we don't see we it. We don't see it. Are you one of the Bradley daughters? 133, look, 133. Are Bradley children? Thirty. Dang, dude. It's very active, bro. Yeah. And you say that that barely goes over fifty. Yeah, it barely goes over fifty. Whenever I brought it out, every other time. All their electricity's off too. Yeah, all the electricity's off. So there's no other thing that would be setting that off. 
She said she saw it right around here. Okay, I don't know if you heard that, and I know Amber and Louie aren't there anymore, but it sounded like a woman giggle. You didn't hear it, did you? No, I didn't hear it. Oh, what? 135. Did that one at 130. Amber and Louie told, told me to come over here and try over here. He says they're very active. Look, 133, 132. They weren't lying. And they went down, see? Oh, it's gone now. Like it's moving. What is it that our friend Louie saw here? Person. That's what it sound like. Was it a ghost? <gasps> Did I say here? Yeah. Me. me. Who's me? I heard you giggle. Why did you giggle? You think it's funny that we're out here? Um. Do you want to go? You want me to go in this direction right here? I heard something knock behind this. Was it you? Are you behind this? seems like there's a lot of activity here but it's it's very random you know sometimes when you're least expect it you see or hear something I'm gonna spend a little bit more time here in this area and see if I can catch whatever Louie just saw she said it looked like somebody walking in a dress but it was an off-white color it was right over there let me know if you see anything It's so dark out here. Oh, there he goes. Did you go to the asylum? Yeah. What it looked like? Yeah. The building outside looks cold. It does? Yeah. It's right over there. Did you see anything? Carlos and I, we decided to come back here. It's like we're drawn to this area where that apparition has been seen. I think it was trying to like talk to us. I think it was too. And it was warming up. Me and Louie were actually hearing that footsteps back there. I heard something coming from over there. Yeah. I did hear it too. I, like I said, I thought I saw it. I don't know if my camera caught it. Carlos is uh, going to do a dowsing rod session.
Yo. Were you running right now? No. Yo, that was the weirdest shit right now. Did you like do some jumping jacks or something? No, bro. I didn't do anything. Yo, I just heard like I heard like running right now. For real, bro? Yeah, for real. Who was that? What the f was that? Yo, so last time I seen somebody using dowsing rods, mm -hmm. they got pushed like 10 feet. They got pushed like 10 feet? Into a tree, yep. Into a tree? It's you my serious? friend Marie. They got pushed like 10 feet? Yeah, caught it on camera, dude. Like something pushed the hell out of her. And she was all by her, like she was, it was weird. Hopefully that doesn't happen to me. I'll be careful, you're standing right in the spot where that apparition appeared. Ask if it's there with the dowsing rods. That's what I'm doing. Did you hear that? I keep hearing all kinds of things around me. Is the apparition that they seen here Bradley, Major Bradley, or an outside entity? Oh, Major Bradley. Let's go with Major. Is this Major Bradley? Cross him for yes, out for no. Is that Major Bradley the apparition that was here? Ooh. Oh, look at crossed. Okay. Whoa. Let's center. Center back. Okay. It's, are you happy? Cross for yes. Open for no. Bro. You see opening. You heard that knock, right? What the hell was that? Okay. All right. So it's not happy. It's not happy. Are your children's spirits here? Cross for yes, open for no. Oh. That completely They're crossed. They're here. All right, straighten up. Straighten out. You can see he's not moving that at all. All right. I hear feel it vibrating. You can feel the vibrations? Yes, I can feel the vibrations. Can you point one to Omar? Oh, sh**. Okay. If I was leaning back and forth or doing anything to manipulate these things, they would not do that. And it's staying over there with him. All right, straighten back out for me, please. Whoa. Okay. Are you happy? People are here at your property. The experience you, where you lived. Okay. No. Yes. It is. Oh, oh crosses. Crosses. Yes. Is, opens, okay. No. Okay. Open up. Okay. Oh yeah, you're right. Strain out. Bro, I feel like the energy's coming through. Dude, I legit feel like we have a bunch of people watching us or something. Yeah. Are there any spirits here? Cross for yes, open for no. That was fast. So there's more spirits here. Yes, there is. Well, Are they negative spirits? Are there some that are negative? Well, it's pointing at something. It's point, oh, bro, behind you, behind you, behind you. Hold on. Bro, I just, look, look, I just got chills. Dude, it was, it's trying to warn us. Got major chills right now. Remember you said you saw a shadow yeah, back I there? I saw a shadow, bro. All right. Let me center again. What's it doing? I asked for the point in the direction where the spirit is at. All right, straighten out. Where is the best, best location that can make communication with anybody? It's 
pointing over there. Pointing over there. I ain't walking over there. Bro, you know, I feel like it drains. It drains you whenever you're doing this. Oh, I mean, yeah, you're having spirits, like, almost touch you. I think you should probably feel, put that down. I feel the vibrations. Yeah? Yeah. You know that they used to use those to find water? Yeah, I read that, too. Yeah. All right, whatever was here, that was communicating with me, you cannot follow me. You have to stay here. You cannot come with me. Can't follow me, either. All right, fam, so let me know here in the comments if you've seen or heard anything. My friend Carlos was also recording a completely different video. I mean, it was some times where we did split off. Perhaps maybe he caught something too. I wanna come back here again and do an investigation, maybe after Halloween. Let us know in the comments if you wanna see that happen. There's always new stories here at Screamageddon Park. Be sure to tune in to my vlog channel. I'm gonna be recording another video. In fact, if I already did so, I'm gonna leave a little pop-up link right up here that you can click on. That way you can see what this place looks like when it's operating. We're gonna get to go in some of the haunted houses. It is gonna be awesome. I came a couple years ago. I have a video on that as well. Came with my friend Boomer and my family. Big shout out to the Screamageddon staff for bringing us here. My friend Vanessa for allowing us access. I've been talking to the Screamageddon staff and they're going to possibly start allowing paranormal investigations here. Make sure to call them up. I'll leave some links down below where you can maybe request to do something like that. It's going to have to be after Halloween, though. From what I hear, this place is a lot more active after people come here. Maybe it's because people keep conjuring things up. Maybe it just kind of stirs the, the spirits here that are sleeping. There's definitely something here. And while we were here, a couple of us did witness a few things. I didn't... I didn't really see anything. I definitely heard things. A lot of weird things came through the spirit box. Also, we cannot deny that dowsing rod session that Carlos just did pointing to something in the woods. And we did hear something back there. Carlos did witness something. My friend Louie witnessed something. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Thank you again for watching. Before you leave though, give me a kiss.